Hi guys, welcome to my video today. I am sharing with you six really delicious chicken recipes. We eat a lot of chicken in our house, but we always have to mix it up with different flavors, of course, so that we don't get bored of it. So these six recipes are all really, really good. I will list them in the description box. If there's one you see that you wanna jump straight to, just click on it in the description box. It'll take you straight to that part of the video. If you're new to my channel, make sure you click subscribe. I have so much fun sharing all of my recipes with you and I'm so glad that you guys enjoy them. So let me get these six chicken recipes all going for you. So I'm going to make a chicken pot pie in the crock pot. So I have frozen mixed vegetables. I have my better than bouillon that I use for chicken broth. I have two cans of cream of chicken, potato. I have an onion. I have my chicken that I've kind of cut up into some medium sized pieces. And I am gonna put all of this in my crock pot. So I have my chicken first. I'm gonna add in the cream of chicken and i just love crock pot recipes they are super easy i love having an awesome meal ready at the end of the day when you've been just running around all busy all day long so crock pot recipes are just the best i'm going to use two cups of chicken broth that i made with my better than bouillon and i have two chicken breasts uh, that i used i'm going to do two cups of frozen mixed vegetables and so I'm going to do a biscuit to make this more of a chicken pot pie. So the biscuit's gonna be separate, but I'm gonna mix all of this together, super yummy stuff. I'm gonna dice up my potato, add that in. I'm gonna dice up half of my onion, add that in as well. This is a really awesome like, comfort food meal. We've had some pretty cold days here recently, so it's nice to have a warm, just some comfort food ready to go for dinner and all of these flavors are just so awesome together. So I'm just gonna give it a stir and then it'll be ready to cook. I cook usually on low for eight hours. You can also cook this one on high for four hours depending on how much time you have. But I'm gonna stir it every once in a while when I get a chance and it is delicious. I'm gonna add in my sour cream now. So I have half a cup of sour cream that I'm adding in now. I'm gonna mix it, it's gonna make this really creamy and it just makes this chicken so flavorful just cooking all day in this delicious sauce. And I'm also cooking right now my grand's biscuits to add on the top of this. And it is a really awesome way to do a crock pot pot chicken pot pie. Really awesome. The whole family loves this one. I'm going to make chicken fajitas on a sheet pan. So I have my chicken, I have my peppers, onion, and fajita seasoning. We love chicken fajitas. Like I mentioned, we eat a ton of chicken, and fajitas are definitely one of the things we like to have quite often. And doing them on a sheet pan is really, really easy. I love sheet pan meals in general, but chicken fajitas on the sheet pan turn out really awesome, and they're really easy to make. So I'm just chopping up everything in two strips. You can use whatever color peppers you'd like, but usually I like to do about two peppers for these. So you can do green and orange or red and yellow, whichever your preference is. But I usually like to mix it up, I'll do like one of each color. I'm using half of my onion because that's just what we like in our fajitas. You can definitely use a whole onion if you'd like, but I just feel like the proportions for this is really good with just half of an onion. So I'm going to add in some olive oil. I'm gonna add in my fajita seasoning and I am not gonna measure an exact amount. I'm gonna put how much we like. So definitely measure to your preference. You can always add more or less. 
And you can make these ahead of time and let them marinate in the olive oil and the sauce for all day if you'd like. Um, usually, really kind of short on time usually, so I just make it right then. And I'm gonna put it on my baking mat lined cookie sheet so that it's super easy for cleanup, nonstick. And I'm gonna add more fajita seasoning because we like lots of extra fajita seasoning on ours. So I, the oven is preheated to 350 degrees. I'm gonna cook these for about 25 minutes. They're just delicious and so super easy. You can do a side of rice and beans if you'd like. We put them on this low carb tortilla. I'm gonna add in some diced avocado, which we just love on so many things. We eat a lot of avocado. I'm gonna add on some shredded cheddar cheese as well. You can add all of your favorites. You can do sour cream, salsa, um, pico de gallo, all of your favorites. I'm gonna make another crock pot meal and I have chicken drumsticks. So this is a really great way to cook drumsticks. Um, you just pat them dry. I'm gonna add each one into my crock pot and then these are gonna cook all day and they come out absolutely perfect it's just so easy and just quick because they basically just cook themselves all day <laughs> so i'm just adding all of these drumsticks into the crock pot you can do a couple different layers on top of each other that's fine and then once i have them all in the crock pot i'm going to add in some olive oil and some seasonings and season them how you prefer your chicken we use um, like a garlic all-purpose seasoning, which is our favorite, but definitely add in. You can do a lot of paprika, garlic, whatever your favorite seasonings are for chicken. So we love this one. It's called Cow Camp, and it's like a seasonal, and we use it for a lot of things. Chicken, tri-tip, all kinds of stuff. It is super good. The whole family just loves this one. So I'm adding in all of the seasonings and then these will be ready to cook. And I don't even put any, um, chicken broth or any liquids in here. They're going to cook in their own liquids and come out super tender. And then once these are done at the end of the day, they look so good, but I am going to take them out and put them on a cookie sheet and I'm gonna broil them for about five minutes. And then that's gonna get that skin super crispy and just really good. But these are so fall off the bone, tender. They just turn out so perfect. My kids love chicken drumsticks and call them, we're having chicken legs for dinner and they just get super excited. So these are really, really good. I have my oven, it's on the broiler and I'm gonna pop these in for five minutes. And then you can do any kind of side you want with these. We did some rice and zucchini for this one. So I have my zucchini and I'm just going to grill it up real quick on my stove with some seasonings, olive oil, and zucchini is super quick and easy. When we love it. We try and do zucchini as often as we can because we usually eat a lot of broccoli in our house. So we've been trying to add in some more zucchini to change up the vegetables a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna do some chicken strips. I have, I'm gonna add in some paprika and some garlic powder into my flour. So I'm just using, this is actually a low carb flour called Carb Quick and it's for baking and biscuits and different things. But I'm gonna make some low carb chicken strips, which I love chicken strips. They are definitely one of my favorite foods. Uh, so this is a really awesome way to make them. And I'm gonna do them in the air fryer. So these turn out really, really good. I forgot that how good these were and then when I made them I'm like I can't believe I don't make these more often. I used to make them all the time a couple years ago but mixing up the seasonings and the flour. I have some egg in the middle plate and I am going to coat each piece of chicken strip with 
the flour, then I'll move it over to the egg, then I will move it over to the flour one more time, and I will repeat until these are all done. And like I said, I'm gonna cook these in my air fryer, but you can definitely cook them on the stove in a skillet as well. They turn out great that way too. So I'm going to place them in a layer on my in my air fryer and I'm going to have to do two batches for this because I have quite a bit of chicken strips to do. So I'm going to do my first batch. So it takes about 15 minutes and I'm going to flip them halfway through and my air fryer it, it dings and gives me a little buzzer when it's halfway. So I have these that are halfway done now and put them back in for another seven minutes. So I do about 15 minutes and depending on the size of chicken strip you want to do longer or shorter amounts of time but I have it on 350 and they are all done perfectly nice and crisp I'm gonna do some baked chicken thighs I have a half a cup of honey which makes these so delicious nice and sweet I have some melted butter half a cup of melted butter I'm going to do half a cup of soy sauce and I have a tablespoon of garlic. So this is like a honey bunny, honey butter garlic uh, chicken thigh and really easy to bake these in the oven. I have some Italian seasoning and some dried basil as well. So I'm gonna mix all of this up and coat the chicken. You can marinate this for a few hours if you'd like. It turns out great when it's marinated. So I have it all ready to go, ready to add on to my, my baking mat on my cookie sheet. As you can tell, I love using my baking mat on my cookie sheet. I use it for absolutely everything. And I'm just going to lay these out in a layer on my cookie sheet. I'm going to bake these in the oven. They're going to take about 45 minutes at 350 and really delicious. So they're all done and I love to portion a lot of my meals into meal prep containers. If you've been around my channel, you know how much I love meal prepping. So these baked chicken thighs, they are ready to go for dinner and lunches for my husband and I for the next couple days. And we could just grab a container and we're all set. So I'm gonna have the chicken thighs and then also I'm gonna do a side of broccoli with these. So now these containers are ready to go with our chicken and our broccoli. And the flavoring on the chicken is really yummy and just so easy. I love easy, quick recipes. I'm gonna make a chicken divan. So I have a cup of mayonnaise. I'm gonna do one cup of cream of mushroom, one cup of cream of chicken, and I have a tablespoon of curry powder that I'm gonna add in and mix all of this together. So this is one of my favorite casseroles of all time. I make it very often. It is one of our family favorites for our whole family. I grew up on this casserole. It is so, so good. So I'm just gonna mix all of this together and I have, um, this casserole has chicken and broccoli in it with this awesome sauce. So I have my cooked chicken. I have two chicken breasts that I poached, um, which is just a great way for casserole chicken, or you can use rotisserie chicken, but any kind of cooked chicken. I have broccoli that I'm going to add in as well. I'm gonna add in the sauce now and just gonna put it all over everything in this casserole and just gonna spread it out nice and evenly. And like I said, this sauce is really good. And you can add as much curry powder as you'd like. If you're not a huge fan of curry powder, you don't have to put a whole tablespoon. I'm gonna add two cups of shredded cheddar cheese on top. And just all casseroles are, just love how they have so much like cheese and creaminess to them. It makes them absolutely delicious. Definitely a comfort food for sure. And then on top of the 
cheddar cheese, I'm gonna do corn flakes. So I have my corn flakes and I'm gonna add in some melted butter and this just makes them get extra crispy and just really delicious on top. So I'm crushing them up and I'm gonna make about two cups of the crushed corn flakes. So once these are crushed up, I'll add them on top and I'm gonna cook this in the oven for 35 to 40 minutes at 350 and it is hands down one of my favorite meals ever. I could definitely eat seconds every time I make this. So I'm glad it makes a big serving so that we can come back for seconds for sure. So this is so, so good. Definitely, I just love it. It's a crowd pleaser. I hope you enjoyed these six chicken recipes. So you can mix up all of your different chicken to not get bored of it all the time. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you all next time.